When someone says they were sexually assaulted, realistically, what kind of attention do they get? It's usually pretty negative. That's why we have an entire presentation called Beat the Blame Game. Beat the Blame Game is an interactive program that disrupts misguided attitudes about who's at fault in a sexual assault. Beat the Blame Game is a program that addresses victim blaming. And that sounds simple, but it's actually a lot more than that. If we're going to talk about victim blaming, we want to start with like a common definition. Victim blaming is that tendency that all of us have to try to solve a problem after it's already happened. So if your bike is stolen, there's a chance that you have a really helpful friend who loves you dearly who's going to say, yeah, but did you lock your bike up right? Did you put it in a bad neighborhood? And when they ask those questions, they may not even realize that what they're doing is implicating you in the crime of which you were a victim. Mace, safe rides. Watch your drink. Someone knows where you are. Moderate drinking. Lit area. Dress conservatively. All right, I'm running out of room here. I think Be the Blame Game is important because it really allows the participants in the audience to examine ways in which they may be blaming the victims without even knowing it. The first thing that we do is we attack their character, right? We say they're just a bad person. I'm gonna give you some examples of things people might say that attack someone's character. You tell me if you've heard these before. She's a slut. This engaging piece can stand alone or serve as a follow-up to Sex Signals or the hookup. Sex Signals is an introductory model, right? What is rape? It's like a 101. The hookup is your 201, right? Let's get a deep, deeper dig on this and let's really talk about the issues. And then the 301, beat the blame game, is that advanced course. We've talked about what these things are. Now we're going to talk about a very specific piece of this and how we can address it to empower everyone on a campus or a military installation or in your community. Our program provides training for Title IX staff and other campus first responders that combats internalized sexism. I think where it's so genius is it works with folks that teach other folks about this topic. It helps educators or Title IX folks or uh, campus administrators or advocates address their internalized victim blaming issues that we all have and figure out how to address them in their audience to create cultural change in that moment. Here's what we're gonna do. This is where we're gonna start getting into like, if you hear these things, how do you respond? Like, how can you actually challenge these ideas to maybe get that person to change their mind, to maybe change our culture a little bit, right? We often speak about changing the culture. And I think that Beat the Blame Game really provides leaders with the tools to actually change that culture. Because victim blaming is the bedrock, it is the foundation of a rape supportive culture. And if we teach people how to take that apart in the small ways, it can actually have a huge impact on your community. The real thing that we're trying to do is create a community where if someone's been raped, they should have no fear of coming forward and saying they were raped. Because who are they afraid of? Us. They're afraid of us, right? And we can change that and we can fix that. By the end of Beat the Blame Game, your community will be able to recognize and reduce victim blaming in themselves and others, perpetuate a culture that holds perpetrators accountable, intervene in incidents of victim blaming, and actively involve themselves in the work of cultural change. Want to bring change to your community? We want you to Beat the Blame Game.